Hey everybody, welcome back to Locked in Lego. And today, yes, you read the title correctly, we will be dealing with 3D printed Lego pieces. Now, for those of you who aren't really aware of what 3D printing is, it's basically a process where you design a, a file using like AutoCAD or Inventor, and you basically design it on the computer, hook it up to a 3D printer, and it'll basically print out whatever shape you design in the computer and can pretty much do whatever you want. Now, how I design these, I use the program called uh, Autodesk Inventor, which is a computer software program, and I use the uh, Maker MakerBot 3D printers. Now, for those of you who are familiar with 3D printing, you'll probably, uh, re um, probably recognize MakerBot as a pretty expensive 3D printing uh, machine. The standard printers go about $300, $400 if you get them new, and you're probably like, whoa, how did you get such an expensive piece of hardware? And I'm actually privileged enough to go to a school where I have pretty limited access to 3D printers and I can basically print whatever I want within reason. And so I brought this concept up with my teacher and she's like, you know what, go ahead, uh, print this out. So yeah, really lucky to have a teacher like that. And so the first thing you'll notice is probably that the, the quality of these is not, obviously it's nothing near that of Lego. And that's obviously because I just don't have like the resources that LEGO has to make such a high quality print. And this is really my own design that I made just like freehanding it off a normal LEGO piece. So that's that's a little disclaimer here. And so I guess um, we'll just get into this starting off with uh, the design process I used to, to make these. So basically what I did to kind of get to this final design, I took your standard uh, LEGO brick here and I took some very I tried to get as close as I can when I was taking my measurements of this piece. And then so this piece right here was actually my first prototype. And you can see I was pretty close. The only problem really came up when I was designing the bottom here. Um, as you can tell, this one right here is really flimsy with these things. They just, they're almost ready to just pop right off there. And the problem was I didn't leave enough support material at the top here like Lego does to really get their there are things to be nice and solid here. So I took this two different, I tried two different um, approaches to try and fix this. I printed uh, one block with these uh, um, supports right here between each thing. And then I took one where I just, uh, I raised the, the roof piece a little, a little bit here to try and make it a little more sturdy. And it worked, uh, it worked both ways. So they both work pretty well. They're both pretty solid. And I also uh, raised the studs up a little bit to make them interlock more. So my question of the day for you guys is, which of these do you like better? Please in the comments below if you could uh, tell me if you like the uh, the braced version better here, or the just the, the raised piece here. Because before I print out more of these, I want to know um, which design you guys like better. And because I really do uh, need a second opinion on this, I could really go either way. So yeah, those are my two uh, finalized designs here, and they're pretty good, I think. They turned out pretty well for me, just uh, taking some very uh, crude measurements. And so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, the way they turned out, and I guess we'll just uh, show you guys how well they fit in with uh, other LEGOs. So now we have uh, my pieces kind of mixed in with the real LEGO pieces here, and they actually uh, integrate pretty well with the uh, normal LEGO bricks. Obviously, there's a little bit of a color difference because I, I can't, I don't have access to the same color that Lego has. And you notice my studs up here are just a little bit taller than the normal Lego studs. And I had to do that in order to get these to, to connect better. But they actually turned out pretty well. I can connect them in almost any way that I want to. I can connect them with just like a corner there. I can even connect them on the, just the, along the side there. And I'm, I think I can even get a pretty good connection on these uh, the corner pieces there. It's pretty sturdy, like it doesn't fall out. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with uh, that I was able to create such a high quality piece with just like the limited resources that I had. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned a thing or two you didn't know before about 3D printing. And please let me know down in the comments below which design you think I should use for my final LEGO piece design. Either the filled in version like I have here or the design with the braces along the sides of the pins. I really have no favor to either piece, and I really want to know what you guys think, so 
please tell me which design you think I should use down in the comments below. And that's going to do it for us today, guys. If you did enjoy the video or you want to see more 3D printed stuff, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing. And until next time, peace out.